So there it is, the uh, collection of final assemble pieces before I endeavour to try and, and paint it. Minus the base, which I might work on a little bit later. So the Star Drake. Got the main assembly. This should be pretty easy to paint like this. Obviously, I've already looked into how I should be doing that. And then the rest. So wings keeping separate. Because with the angles that they go on to the Star Trek, I think it'd be pretty difficult to paint both the wings and the Star Trek with them on. And then, of course, there are the parts for the rider, which I'll try and get a better angle of now. So, just to show you, I've got the legs. Now, with the legs, because I'm going to be using the Lord Celestant more than the other one, which I can't remember, the Templar, that's the one. I pretty much went for the Celestin legs and all accessories for that. Now, we'll start with the Celestin, who I have here. Now with the Celestin, I've gone for the hammer, because the sword is not as good. And I've got the shield, which I'll assemble later, because if you look at the build, it covers a lot of the shoulder, which I want to get to when I'm painting. And how well does this go on? Well, I'll... I won't lie, I stuck the magnet in to see if it fit, and it won't come out, there's no glue there, I literally can't get it out even with tweezers, but luckily, it seems to be alright, seems to be a nice enough fit, it does stick out just a little bit, but probably not enough to notice, and that's, that's sturdy, that's not going anywhere, now this would obviously, just to give you a quick example, be fixed atop the Star Drake like that, which I think you can see there. And the actual magnet grip on that is 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 solid to be honest. I'm using three mil wide, two mil deep. The two mil deep just gives a better grip from what I read. This is my first time actually doing anything with magnets. And now this is the Templar. And I'm actually a bit more impressed by what I did with this. Not only do I actually prefer the Templar model in truth I just think he looks cool especially with the spear thanks for the recommendation um, he goes on really nicely Look, holding holding the chair but this is the real piece de la resistance so this is the back and so when you're assembling the back you've got the choice of either having the bow or the Celestin back because the Celestin doesn't use the bow so what I did put the magnet underneath and it still holds. Now you can kind of see the magnet a bit but just to have the bow when I need it I don't think that's too bad. The uh, the hooks do float away a bit um, I'm still debating whether or not I should remove them just to make it look just kind of like so it's plonked there rather than floating hooks but I mean other than that I'm pretty happy about it to be honest. Something something for Sigma, I guess. Ooh. Magnets.